guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today we're gonna to be doing an open cup pour. This is one of my favorite techniques, but I'm trying it on this rather large canvas. This is an 18 by 24 inch canvas. And I do have this propped up on my cake spinner. And I did put a wood board underneath it to help hold up the big canvas. And everything's just attached with double-sided sticky tape. So this one, I wanted to do a bit differently than normal. Normally I put it right in the middle. I start off with a base of usually white or black, and then I do a bunch of colors and that's it. For this instance, I'm gonna actually do multiple um, open cups, basically. It's gonna be the same cup, but I'm gonna just move it around. So I'm using a ton of metallics. And these are all mixed media girl pouring paints. Sorry, we had to wait for the train to go by. Um, yeah, so I'm using just a ton of metallics and primarily warm colors in here. I'm gonna be using some pinks. So you kind of see that there's nothing holding that cup down, so it's just gonna move as you pour through it. Okay, I'm now gonna go ahead and pick this up and do it again, starting over here. All right, same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and move it over to here. Now this is a bit off center, so I do want to tilt it just a bit this way, which I think will help that spread out more evenly. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna help it along on the edges here and then spin it lightly one more time. All right, well that was a lot of fun. Very interesting take on this technique. Um, I kind of wanted to see if I should try this on a really big canvas, uh, but I'm not sure how to operate that on the turner. I think this is about the biggest canvas I could get on my spinner there. Maybe a, like a, a 24 by 24 um, could work, but I don't think anything bigger than that and I'm right up to the edge of my table with the splatter here. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to let this sit for just a minute. I want to see if anything else develops. It seems like we might have some other cells coming in through there and then I'll bring you in for a close-up. All right, so this is a fairly big piece and it's kind of high up on the table. I'm going to do my best to reach it. 
we definitely got a lot of beautiful cells in here and just beautiful reactions. Some awesome lacing. And it's pretty interesting color scheme here, but I dig it. It's almost kind of galactic. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I think this part over here might be my favorite. And if anyone has any specific suggestions for this runoff, let me know. I have some ideas already, but I'm definitely open to suggestions. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this project. I think it was a lot of fun, and I will likely try it at least one more time. All right, I'll see you all next time.